Okay, we are live, but my capture card does not want to give out any audio, which is uh, very fun. I thought I'd fix this problem, but I clearly haven't. So uh, I'm going to go on to OBS and I'm going to go here. I'm going to go audio input device. Yes, lovely. Create new, lovely. lovely yes. yes, and then we're going to go Razor Ripsaw. Like, it's saying that there's level, like, it is picking it up, but it's not, uh, outputting it. There's level, like, it is picking it up. Sorry, there's probably a bit of an echo there, just, I'm, I'm using my audio, I'm trying to listen here. It is picking it up. Sorry, there's probably a bit of an echo yeah. there, just, I'm, Now there's an even bigger echo. My <laughs> oh, there's game audio. Anyone who's watching, is there game audio? I think there is. I need to send out a tweet here. It's very warm, very warm. So we open that. Okay, let me. Just send out a tweet here. It's very warm. Yeah, I think there is audio now. Woohoo! I don't know why that fixed. I literally didn't change anything. But, uh, I don't know, technology just does that sometimes. Warning, the stream's current bitrate is lower. Ah, sure. Who cares about that? My stream status is good. Big gamer hours. Big, big gamer hours. Alex, can you hear background noise? I've been having a bit of a nightmare with my capture card recently. I had to record a small bit of gameplay with audio, or when I was doing my let's play for... Uh, game explain and it just like I was literally about 45 minutes trying to sort it out it's so annoying but I didn't play on the PlayStation I played on the PC so we don't actually have that many big gamer hours in on this so we'll send out the tweet there we go close everything down so nothing's taking up too much audio's fine lovely lovely let me know if it is a uh, too high, too low, whatever. But yeah, we're going to start a new character. Uh, I should have actually showed you my characters I have on this. But do you know what? I'll actually do that. So we got load game. So here's what I have. I have Adzi and Adam. I don't really like... I'm actually... Do you know what? I want to I wanna call my character Adzi. So that's what we're going to do. Delete them. And off we pop. So how's everything, Alex? It's been a while since I streamed. I put out a... A poll and people wanted me to be the confessor. So we're going to be the confessor. Seven up free. Sponsor me. Okay. Call him Adzi. Code I got. Code is uh, provided by the publisher. I, I think I legally have to say that. This isn't a review. So the golden seed is the way to go. Uh, I think I'll go detail appearance. Yeah. Surprise it. <laughs> I've got to just keep bringing that up to you, Alex. I, when you said that, I was like, oh, he is so wrong. He is so wrong. I, I really don't want to spend too much time here, actually. I'll just change my hair. Detailed appearance. Uh, face and hair. Uh, face structure, hair. I think we'll... I uh, don't really have anything like my current hair. The one thing about having a ponytail that I noticed while playing games is that it's quite easy to make your make your character have the same hair as you. But uh, here, I no longer have a ponytail, so... Uh, hmm. Ah, sure, we'll go with that hair. Hair colour, yeah, that's good. Luster. What is luster? Strong. I have a strong luster on my hair. I can't really... Oh, is that grease? No, it's not grease, is it? Ah, sure, I have a strong luster in my hair, whatever that is. So we go fa facial hair. Let me give myself a nice beard. Uh, yes. That suits a paladin. Yeah. We'll just do that. I don't want to spend too much time here. Finish. Will I be able to kill the, the starting boss? That's the real question. That is the real question.
click on the disc. Tell a story. Yes, okay. Sending off this. There's another cryptic cutscene. Wait, so man, uh, I don't know. Ah. Like that, I, I would not use that word for that. Like, I don't know why they didn't just use Grease. Maybe it's copywritten by whoever owns Grease. Okay, I think if I am to beat this player, or this, this boss, I think this is probably the best character. I actually want to turn off tooltips. Uh, auto target, motion sensor, prioritize frame rate. Can I turn off tooltips? Show tutorials off. Okay. Ah, how's it going, folk? I, it's going... Nothing really much is up, to be honest. I just reviewed GT7, uh, and now I'm heading back into Elden Ring. And for my whole playthrough, I didn't realize you could two-hand weapons. Because usually in Souls games, you press triangle to change we or to, to two-hand weapons. But in this, you press triangle and then hold L1 and L2. And I skipped that tutorial. Urgent heal and assassin's approach. So I think if you're going to, if you're going to win the boss fight, I think you kind of need... Uh, woo, you kind of need this character because he has a heal. Will I be able to get a parry? Do I really want to try something as risky as that? Uh, no, maybe not. The frame rate is not great on PlayStation. Ah, uh, here now. What's the animation look on this heal? Okay, can you use that a few times? Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm getting hit. Drop your shield. Okay, we'll uh, heal up. Oh, do not stop. Oh. Oh, jeez, he deals a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm in deep concentration mode here, so... Should be able to get a second heal in, hopefully. Yeah, he's shielded. Ah, yeah, okay. That's, that's, yeah, okay. Well... No hit run. I feckin' wish I'm not that good. <laughs> I've already been hit six times. Wow. Loads of new th loads of new names. The Atomic Pervert. I don't think you've ever been in the stream, so hello. And many me. I don't think you've ever been in the stream either. It's going really well, actually. I really like it. It's, a be it's it's easily easily the best game I've played in in ages. Like let me, I'm trying to even think. Let me like trying to even think what games have even come close to it in the past while. I, I really I I can't like that's how good it is. It's really that good. Uh, nice. Yeah, foe. If there's just some people some people just like them some people don't i mean it's all just a patience game really i know people like to say oh i'm so good you know i'm great i killed this boss in three moves and all this but it's it's all just about learning patterns like it's like any other game like in call of duty you're learning recoil patterns and how to peek corners properly or you know things like that so i don't really think i need that much fp to be honest right now so i think i'll just go for one I don't have that many incantations, I believe is what they're called. Is that what they're called? Incantations? Yes. Silence footsteps, like... That's kind of a bit useless, isn't it? I need to, uh... I need to learn where there's some decent... Some decent, uh... Spells. Uh, many me. Oh, hello, Ry Rylan. Uh, my day has actually been really good. Uh, we've been having really shit weather here in Dublin, and today it's been nice. So I went out... And went for a nice walk by the seaside with my dogs and got some chips. And, yeah, it was fun. How are you, Ryland? And here is Limgrave. So, uh, for everybody watching, I did get a review code for this. Uh, I reviewed it for Game Explain. If you want to watch the review, uh, obviously all my opinions are my own, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that's all just formalities. Many, many me. Who's many me? You call me Adam, so I would assume it's someone I know, maybe. But I know we only started the stream, but if you uh, want to help me out, give the stream a like, please. Pretty much appreciated. 
Yes, okay, okay, yes, yes, dying obscured, yes, yes, okay, we just... We won't really listen to him, he's not much use right now. Or maybe he is, he's probably some really useful character in the lore of Elden Ring that I'll only find out once I watch a 45 minute video on, on, his, on his life story. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna... I just want to get the horse first. I think that's probably the best thing to do when you start off. So uh, I can try fight him. Got the performance on on PlayStation is not great. Apparently the best way to get a solid 60 FPS playing on PlayStation is to download the PS4 version and play it on the PlayStation 5. Uh, but yeah, if you if you have the digital version, then that's okay. You know that's brilliant. You get both versions. But if you bought this version, you're looking you're out of luck because. Yeah, I think that's just a bit ridiculous. I, I kind of wish in my review I went harder on the performance. I didn't get much time to test out the PlayStation version. They literally sent the code like... I was almost... I was pretty much finished making my review and that's when they sent the code. So... Smithing Stone. I don't think I want to upgrade this weapon because... What's my stats like? Because if I go in here, I don't have enough to wield a weapon I'm thinking I want to wield. I want to make like a Paladin build here. Build? A paladin build. About Kale, yes. He looks like Santa. And the notes are pretty useful for anyone who's new. Ah, well it's nice for you to drop by Rylan while you're on your work, uh, work break. Can't think of much better things to do than to watch me stream now, to be honest, on a break, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really surprised, actually, Fo, uh, about... I was always... You get a few people on a big channel like Game Explain that, like, are like, Ooh, this is, this is a PlayStation game, this is bad, like, just automatically. But, like, most of the time, like, the, the comments have been really nice. Like, I got one person on my GT7 review was just like, This review is fantastic, I, I'm, like, it's great that the game hooked you. And then that was it. But then you get other people like, oh my god, this is on PlayStation, it's bad. But the majority of people are really nice. Except for on Pokemon videos. Uh, Pokemon fans aren't nice. <laughs> I've never been, I've never been, uh, never been slated more for my pronunciation than I was in that video. Because I didn't pronounce a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon called, I'm not sure if anyone here, excuse me, I need to burp. Oh, Lord. I'm drinking 7-Up free. That's a bad idea on a stream, but, uh... There's one of the lake Pokemon. It's called Uxie. Well, it's actually pronounced Uxie. But it's spelled U-X-I-E. So I was thinking, ah, that's Uxie. And I never watched the anime or past the first season, so I don't know. I've never really heard the pronunciations, and I got absolutely ripped into it. And then one person was like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm like, and then there's people like, this man's accent ruins it, but then, actually, there was a comment, I do actually read the comments, uh, like, it doesn't really bother me, like, I'm not, I've, I've a thick skin, so, like, I just like to do it, because it's, sometimes you get some nice ones, and one of the comments was like, this guy's accents kill, this, this guy's accent kills the review, and then one person responded, was like, yeah, he is killing it with a cool, uh, glasses emoji, I was like, thank you for sticking up for me, and then... <laughs> one person, I, I forget which review it's on, one person was like, wow, this man loves every game he reviews. If they brought uh, Pong to the PS5, he would absolutely love it. Mm. Well, I, I think I think I am slightly more positive on game. Well, not even slightly. I am definitely more positive than, than your average person when it comes to games. I'm, I'm, like, easy enough to please. I can usually find the fun. Yeah, yeah, Alex, every single comment. Can't believe Conor McGregor. And it's like, I understand, like, they have no exposure. Their only exposure to the Dublin accent is Conor McGregor. But, like, Conor McGregor sounds nothing like me. Now, that's actually quite an insult. Like, I, Conor McGregor's accent is, is, is not good. <laughs> it's not good whatsoever. So here's where we get Torrent. Cool mount. He's like a half cow, half horse. You are maidenless. Have you heard of the finger maidens? Dirty. The two fingers. But you, I can play the role of me turning to aid you if you lead only to the foot of... Except, I wonder what happens if you... Summon me 
Thank you, Ryland. Yeah, it's uh, I've never been a fan of of Gran Turismo either. I was never a fan of uh, of uh, sim racers, but it absolutely hooked me. I even bought a wheel. I'm gonna move my camera so you can see. Uh, eh. There's my wheel. Is this gonna work? You're gonna see uh, the rest of my room. Oh no, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad camera work. There's my wheel. Oh yeah, it's cool. It uh, cost me 330 euros, so it's certainly not cheap. But it definitely makes the game... Oh, I'm like a vlogger now. Hello. Uh, it definitely makes the game game a lot more fun. Okay, let me see. We'll just close. Close. Sorry about this. <laughs> God knows what's... There, we're back. But Grant, yeah. Uh, GT7, re like, it does a really good job of teaching you the ins and outs of how to, how to drive. It's great. Okay. I need to somehow get better incantations and or spells. And to be honest, I don't know what the best way about going about doing that is. Uh, Alex, you've played the game. Do you do you have any, uh, like, can you remember any, like, fast track ways to get a few spells or something? Because I might just, like, farm a few souls and then get, or runes, should I say. And then get, like, a staff of some description. Ooh, that's probably way too... Yeah, I need 16 strength. That's probably not too unrealistic to be honest can i two hand it i can't i'm getting rid of my shield don't need my shield my whole playthrough i played without a shield because i'm just cool like that okay so we'll uh two handing is so yeah there we go do i have a certain layout for my reviews uh no they're definitely more structured on game explain because i'm kind of following all my like there's no real structure to their reviews either, but I'm kind of following previous structures of how they re reviewed games. But for my reviews, I actually deliberately do this when it comes to my reviews. I only talk about things that interested me. Like, I don't go out of my way to, like, spout some shit about graphics when I, I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Like, I, obviously, I can tell if graphics are good or graphics are bad and, you know, if the ray tracing is looks cool or anything. But, like, like I'm, I'm no digital foundry, so I'm not going to go out of my way to discuss that thing because it's just, it's not worth my time. And it's not worth your time listening to me, to, like, just chat absolute shit about something I don't know. What's the L2? Oh, Lord. Okay, wait, what, what does that do? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, there's bats. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die here right now. Oh, I missed. Okay, I need to, need to equip my, my noble steed. Yes. Yes. What did Alex say? Best early game staff is meteorite staff. Too far. Not too far. Alex, uh, could you... Do you know where that is? No, I do, I haven't followed... Uh, I've... I do want to play it. I do... I do like the, the newer Assassin's Creed. I absolutely hate the old Assassin's Creed games. Like, with a fiery passion. I think they are some of the... Most overrated games ever made. I don't know how anyone ever enjoyed them. But, uh, yeah, that's a rant for another day. But I, I really dislike them Assassin's Creed games. But anyway, uh, the new ones are fun. They're a bit like, obviously, they're just like typical open world games. But they're fun for what they are. I think the best open world game Ubisoft have ever, have ever made. Well, like, I think maybe, like, you could probably make an argument for Far Cry 3. Because it was quite, well, it actually was fairly, uh fairly important in like the like general history of open world games but it's a uh, oh my god that's cool but it's uh what's the name of it what game am i thinking about that the greek one what's the new greek what's the new greek uh immortal phoenix rising great game great game this is the weapon i wanted to use i think it's a dex weapon though 18 dex that's not happening 
I'll stick with my long sword, great sword song. Okay, now this lad is tough. And your best bet is to certainly do a crouch here. As you can see, the, the stealth AI is a... Uh... Yes! How's it going, Max? Okay. And then we do this. Slash! Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. I kind of was kind of was hoping I'd kill him though. Get him! Oh! How didn't I ever use? I did. I literally didn't use that once. That is so cool. Yes, backstab. If you want some good early spells, you need to go to the Waypoint Ruins, which is pretty close by. I do recognize the name of the Waypoint Ruins from my first playthrough, but I don't know where it is. So, uh, I don't mind, like, like you can... Uh, I'm really not one for disliking back, backseat game, and so just let me know where where I, where it is roughly. Okay, I need to run in here and get the wolves first, I think. So, we'll just go in and... Yeah, okay, one shot him. Oh, he has me. Roll! Oh! I didn't think he had a last one on his... Okay, this is bad. Okay, we'll take that. There we go. Yeah, I just need to get some spells. Whoa, uh, wait, sorry, sorry. I... <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm reading the chat here and it's uh, popping off. So I actually, I, I really appreciate it, but... How do how do streamers with loads of people? Like, I think any more than four people, like there's three or four people talking here at once is very difficult. Uh, so let's see, you want some good spells? Yeah, waypoint round. How's it going, Max? I said that. Origins. Uh, I do like Origins. I like Origins and what's the... I've played the the Egyptian one, which is Origins, I believe. And then I played Odyssey. I've never beat... I haven't beaten either of them, but I've played them. And they're fun. Odyssey has 60 FPS on PS5 now, I think. So I might maybe go back to... Okay, but you need to kill an easy enough boss. Loved AC2. Brotherhood Revelations, then hated AC3. Liked Unity, then hated Origins. I hate every single Assassin's Creed game that isn't Origins, Odyssey, or Valhalla. I've never played Valhalla, but it looks fun. And there's DLC set in Dublin, which is cool. To the east of the lake bed, there's some ruins. If you go down a staircase, there's a boss down there. Once you beat him, there's a lady who'll teach you some spells. Okay, I think that's probably our best bet. Now, to be honest... I'm not 100% sure how confident I am in beating a boss right now, to be honest, with, with the current setup I have. Apologies for, for burping. I, I burp a lot already, as a, as a, just in general, but, uh, yeah, drinking Sprite Zero. Not the, not the way to do it. Suffer, yeah, exactly, Max, I'm suffering from success. <laughs> but, like... Seriously, how in God's name do you keep up a conversation? I can't keep a conversation up with more than one person. Okay, so we'll go here. We'll level up. Now, where do I want to go? Like... What do spells need? Does Arcane come into it in this game? I didn't. I didn't get into the spells with my review. I was doing a dex build. So, spells... Elden Ring. I just want to see. What do we need? Faith, Intellect, Arcane. So they do need Arcane. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of spells in this game. I'll be going for Incantations. Oh, Incantations are Flame as well. Oh, and Incantations are like Dark Magic. Okay, alright. Oh, well then. Lightning Spear. Oh, class. Intelligence is Faith. So Incantations only need Faith? Oh, no, they need some of them need arcane okay 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 i see so i think i'll be mostly going into faith then but i think the faith is kind of useless right now intelligent mind faith there's some that require arcane very few of them require arcane seems to be the dragon spells uh what about the actual spells like glintstone stars intelligence 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 okay they all need intelligence so it's Yeah, okay, so, 
Intelligence of faith is what I'm going for. Now, to be honest, I don't really think there's much use in me putting anything in them right now, but I don't really want to waste any points. Ah, sure, we'll just do that. We'll, we'll do that for now. Probably, actually, now that I think about it, I should have put some in mind, but... We live, we live. Broadsword. Okay, that's up towards the first boss. If I can remember, them waypoint runes are, like, directly here. Potentially. So, stranded graveyard. Okay, that's where we are. I think... I don't want to move down there yet. Okay, let me just read back. Waypoint runes is east of the lake bed. For some runes, waypoint runes is not great unless you get the academy scroll, which you get after the castle. Okay, and then... Alex, it's in Kayla towards the middle of it. There's a poison swamp. I know the poison swamp. I remember that. Will I just go? Will I just book it into Kayla? I think I will. God, this is really fun. This is cool having people in helping you. It was definitely a, a, a different experience playing a Souls game without like, like having the option of being able to look up like cool weapons or anything. Oh, get out. God, this game is seriously beautiful. Like, look at that. Okay. Off we pop. I'll go into Caleb and see. To my east across the bridge. To my east across the bridge. To my east. Yeah, so across this bridge here. Is that what you're talking about, Alex? Because there is a way to get around Stormvale. I'll try, uh, Alex, I know you're playing through the game right now, so I, I'll try, like, I, I'm really, I don't, I don't want to say much. Because th this game is definitely a game that you have, like, you're just best off just experiencing yourself. There we go. And I would not want to ruin that experience for anybody. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, uh, fo, I, oh, get out. Oh, he's... I've never seen him before. Oh, no. Get out. <laughs> I've never seen him. I've crossed this bridge so much. Pick up the item. Run. Oh, get out. Oh, my God. Well, that was cool. I know I'm not fighting him. I'm just... Oh, Jesus. Okay, you can... Uh, Two-shot me. Okay, did that boss stop? I do. I will actually, uh... I will actually attack this. Oh, God. The performance is brutal. Jesus, this is bad. Tell you one thing. I do not fancy fighting him off my horse right now. So we'll uh, take the, the coward's way out. Jeez, Alex, you have uh, some confidence. Kill him. I can't, I, I, that, that's so cool, like, I can't believe I put, like, 45 hours into this game, and it's a boss, like, I didn't even know existed. That's great. Oh, look at all these. Look at all them items. Okay. Okay, I have to kill this fecker on the horse. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna bring, a. Uh, Oh, I missed him. Nice one. Just keep spamming. Yeah, you crap, man. Okay, now I got pretty good at killing these giants because there's a spot... Uh, in the, the part that's, like, really windy, there's a spot where there's loads of giants. And turns out it's a really good spot for farming souls. 
or rune fragments or runes because you get a because you get a thousand runes for every one of these that you kill and i think there could be like six of them or something and like near the near like you know kind of halfway through the game like they're very easy to kill like you literally kill them in two or three hits oh good up Jeez, there's not much of a tail on that attack, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, get on the ground. I would get off and do the finisher, but I don't really think I have to. Yeah, that's all That's all it is, foe. It's just patience. Uh, who asked me is an improvement on the soul? Sorry, I, I, keep, I keep getting sidetracked. Yes, it is, definitely. Uh... I personally think my 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 views on most things, uh, atomic pervert, which is uh, some name, but uh, my views on most things is let people do what they want to do in most instances, especially when it comes to art. Like art and games are art for a reason. They should be allowed to do whatever they want, basically, and it should be up to the like. I think I've heard a few people say, and I would be, I would be like a bit more like. I would agree with this argument a bit, like like a bit more, but uh, then, then just like oh they should they they have to do it because it's the right thing to do. I think I heard people say there's a dif there's a difference between difficulty. Oh, there's waypoint runes. There's a difference between difficulty and accessibility. So with difficulty, obviously, like they don't need to. They don't need to uh, make this game they don't need to have a difficulty setting like easy easy normal hardware just modify say the damage you deal and how much damage you take but accessibility options it, like it's starting to get to the stage where accessibility options are becoming more common so i can understand people kind of getting annoyed that they don't have accessibility options even even small things like color blindness or you know maybe running the game see but maybe no I was going to say run the game at half speed, but if you run the game at half speed, then people will just cheat it. But, like, Far Cry 6. Far Cry 6 has a mode that you can play, you can map the whole game to one side of the controller. So if you, say your, your right arm, arm is amputated, you had a stroke, whatever the reason that you, you have no use of your right arm. You can map the whole game to the left side of the, the, left side of the, the controller and play it. Like, that's absolutely insane. So, I mean, I understand Ubisoft are a massive company. They can kind of have the money to do it. But I think when it comes to accessibility, I think they, they do, definitely companies do have to do better. And that's not me just, like, you know, saying saying the right thing, you know, the, the right thing in front of the audience. So I sound like I'm woke. Like, I, I do think there should be basic accessibility options in every game. Like, little, like, just small things like color blindness. And because, like... I, like, I'm fully abled, and I would be absolutely, I would be very disappointed if I could not experience this game. And it's one thing not being able to experience the game because of, oh wait, I think I better actually, before I go down there, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to find a, a, a bonfire first. But I think there's a difference between me not being able to play it because I'm just not good enough and don't have, well, not, not that I'm not good enough, but don't have the patience for it, or... I can't play it because of a disability that could kind of pretty easily be navigated around, like colorblindness or something. Because that would make me very, very sad if I couldn't do that. God, this game is just so fun just to walk around. Well, as I as I said, uh, Atomic, uh, I am. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna try. Just like I, I'll. I won't really discuss much of my experience because I don't. I don't want to spoil it for you. Like seriously, this is a game that. This is a game that you should just go out and experience. So. I can only do so much in the first two hours. I need to kind of sit forward a bit here. Get into my uh, sweaty gamer pose. Now I need to find a grey or a, a thing before I go to the waypoint ruins. Uh, do you know what? 
and fall where should i start with the games if if like to be honest elden ring is the place to start and i don't think like say for argument's sake you buy elden ring and you love it and you're like oh i want to go back to the other souls games i don't think it'll be very difficult to go back to it because the, the games hold up really well like demon souls didn't hold up well because it ran at literally like 26 frames a second on playstation which i actually do wait this is this is it now please don't cause an avalanche Two seconds. So, here's my copy of Demon Souls. I bought it on adverts. Uh, yeah. Demon Souls. The OG. PS3 Greatest Hits. It's a US copy, though. But, uh, turns out it actually has a different trophy list to the, to the EU one, which is crazy. Uh, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. But that game runs at, like, 26 frames a second on PS3. And it's, uh, very difficult to play. Is the stream acting up? Uh, I have played Sekiro, but... So, there was one part of my life in college when... My, my college course wasn't too full on. It was, I hated it. But anyway, that's... You know, I, <laughs> don't don't get me onto that rant. But, uh, yeah, so there was one a part of my college course where we had, you know, like four or five essays to do. And right in the middle of it came Sekiro. And I bought Sekiro and played it. And I played it for like 10 or 15 hours. And then the... Uh, no, Mr. Bear. Goodbye. I do not want to speak to you. I'm still yet to kill one of them, even on my uh, PC save file. But, uh, yeah, Se Sekiro came up. It came out, and I played, like, 10 hours of it. I did enjoy it, and the essays just came along. And then I dropped it and just haven't gotten back to it. I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I wish they did. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Bear, we do not want to talk to you. Okay, I just want to pick up this map so then I have more of... Why? I, I remember running through this area now. Pick up the map. Am I going to make a holy, a holy dash for it? I have 3,000 souls. 4,000 souls. That's a lot of levels. Just do it. Just do it. Pick up the item. No matter... Yeah, grand, grand, grand. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, I'm running right in, right in front of him. Oh, get out. A few golden runes. Throw a dagger. Run. Yes. Okay, I made it. More of a Bloodborne guy. Uh, <sighs> Dark Souls 2 was my favourite of the Bloodborne Sekiro games. Which is very, 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 very unpopular opinion. But, oh Jesus. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 is my favourite. I've played that game the most out of all of them. I've beaten Dark Souls 1. I've beaten Dark Souls 1 once. And I've almost beaten it like two or three times. As I just started it and then just kind of fell off. I do love the game. I literally, I've beaten Dark Souls 3. Or 2, I'd say... Maybe 12, 12 times. Like, I have a, I have a save file on my PlayStation 4 for Dark Souls 2, and it's, uh, like, 80-odd 80, 80 hours. I love that game. Well, Scholar of the First Sin, should I say. The OG game wasn't great, but once Scholar of the First Sin came out with the amazing DLCs and kind of fixing up a few things, uh, yeah, that game's fantastic. Uh, and then we have Dark Souls 3, which I've played and beaten once. I've tried to go back to it. That came out the year of my leave insert, which is... Uh, so it came out in March... Of the year of my leaving cert. The leaving cert over here, if you're in America, is the LSATs? Is that what it's called? The kind of, well, like, your, your, the end of, like, high school exam that, like, you, you do before you go into college. Uh, that's what the leaving cert is here. Or the G, GCSEs or A-levels. I don't know if you're in England. One of them. But, uh, yeah, that came out in March. And I played it, beat it, and I've, like gone back again played like you know like a 15 hour save file and just fell off and then bloodborne i've beaten exactly once bought it on launch put it down because the performance was absolutely fucking atrocious and then eventually i picked it back up and beat it uh, that game's great it just needs 60 fps that's the only thing holding that game back i think i prefer dark souls as setting i i just fantasy is more my jam uh yeah fantasy is more my jam and I do like Bloodborne's, uh, like, aesthetic, but I think at times it kind of got a bit too much with how dark it was. Uh, but, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, the, the leaving cert is pretty stupid, but it's behind me, so I don't have to worry. I found a few of these paintings in my original playthrough, and apparently, like, if you find this place somewhere in the map, something happens, and I haven't managed to find any of them. Now, not that I went looking for them, but, yeah. Pretty cool. 
Okay, I have a load of levels now. I can't wait for that play PlayStation Game Pass thing, especially if it brings PS3 games. I love the PS3. I have so much nostalgia for it. First game ever I played on the PS3 was Assassin's Creed 1. And I liked it back then, but... Stupid, silly Adam. He didn't know what he was talking about. So I think... I want to go a small bit into... No, I think I need to put pump a small bit into... Realistically, into intelligence right now. And then a small bit into strength. Because I will eventually want to one-hand this weapon, I believe. You can respec. Getting the items for respec is quite difficult. Okay, Alex. If you're still here... Yeah, PSP games will be great. Would you be able to give me a rough marker? Well, there's no way you could give me a rough marker. Actually, that's a stupid question. But we're going into Khaled. And we're going to get this fucking stuff. Uh, if anybody... No, no, I won't say that. No, I was going to give away where a cool weapon is, but... I mean, I think Sony are... Like, Sony are definitely branching out now. So, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean... They do... They do need to do like come up with something on PC. I think, I think they are like like the first thing in that destiny when Jim Ryan wrote that letter about Destiny, like when they bought Bungie, it was like, don't worry, this is not a exclusivity deal. Like that was literally the first thing he said. So they're definitely warming up to the idea of putting things on other platforms, which is good. Like I'm I'm a Sony Sony pony, as some people might say, but uh. Well, I actually love Nintendo as much as I do love Sony, so. I'm like 50-50 down the middle. Like, Ratchet and Clank is probably... Ratchet and Clank and Zelda are my two favorite series. I don't really think I know many people who would say Ratchet and Clank is their favorite series. Like, I personally don't believe there's been a single bad Ratchet and Clank game. There's been ones that are worse than others, but, like, even all for one. I actually learned something very interesting. This is a random fact. I watched a, a retrospective on Ratchet and Clank all for one. And they originally wanted to call it Ratchet and Clank 4 play. And then Sony turned that down. And then they went back and was like, can we call it multiple organisms? <laughs> and then they said no. They said that's the quickest no they ever got. See, because in Europe we never got any of the cool names. Ours was just Ratchet 1, 2, and 3. We never got up your arsenal or... Diagonal from the telescope. Diagonal northwest or... Where, where like, on the... Oh, this is one of the coolest NPCs in the game. Oh, no, 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 this isn't the NPC I was thinking of, no. Towards the middle of the area, so directly diagonal. So, would you say here? Hello? Roughly around here? Okay, and this was in my tips video that I... Well, it, it it slipped through the cracks on Game Explain, but it will go up. Mark an NPC when you see one. Hello? Don't really know what I'm going to mark them with. I'll mark them with that. Someone who... Ah, you've come to lend me your aid. Well, that's... That's very kind, but... Um, no. No, no spite yeah, I guess so, but... No I think it's Gabe Newell, I think, said... That the answer to piracy is convenience. So obviously emulation is piracy, whatever. I don't I don't want to get into emulation. I personally don't emulate because I just feel weird playing games that are emulated. But anyway. But like if you just offer a better a more convenient service, then people will pay for it. Like people used to people used to pirate TV shows and movies, and then Netflix came around. And even though it costs money, it's so convenient that they just decided, okay, I'll pay the money and then stop pirating. So South of Mistwood. Check Discord. Ah, I appreciate that, Alex. Streets of Sage Rune. 
Okay, so if I am to go into the map. So it goes down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea where we meet Spongebob. So I'd say it's about here. Jesus, mad! like, this is exactly how I felt playing Breath of the Wild. My idea was to go back to that place where that uh, poison plant is and fight that boss. Oh, well, first I had to find the side of grace. And now I'm off doing this. Like, you just, you just keep moving around. That's exactly what it was like when I was playing Breath of the Wild. Like, there'll be times where, you know, I get a text, oh, you're coming on Rocket League when Breath of the Wild was out. And I would be, yeah, I'm just doing this in Breath of the Wild, and then I wouldn't come on for, like, another hour. But thanks, Alex. This is one of the churches, isn't it? These usually have them, uh, or a teardrops or something. Apologies if I burp every now and again. The third church of Marika. Oh, this is a... Yeah. Oh, that's where you get that. Alright. That's a very useful item. The... The... This, the flask of wondering physic, physic. So you pick up these things. I like this armor set. Looks pretty slick. So you pick up them, and then you can go mix wondrous flask, and then if you mix two things, you can do whatever. I won't go any further into that. I think maybe a bit more mind would might be a, a shout. See, right now I'm more just spending these because I don't want to lose them. I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing with this character, but uh, I'll just keep going. Figure that out as we go along. You can respect so. I thought I, I thought I would have had the fire changing toys reminds me of Little Big. Oh, I think I saw that on one of like the key websites that I looked to see what games I can get keys for. I think I did. I feel so bad killing the turtles because I love turtles. Well, that's a tortoise, I believe, isn't it? No. Goodbye. <laughs> I do love Little Big Planet. Very, very nostalgic game. Come here. Sacred Blade. Oh, that sounds like something that would be good for my character. Wee. Loads of wolves. The wolves are never really an issue, to be honest. Like, even... You just get a half decent half decent sword and you can one shot them. Now fight a dog in one of the enclosed castles or something and you'll get absolutely destroyed. I haven't used Game Pass in, in quite a while. I haven't played a game on Game Pass in ages. I'm actually thinking of getting rid of my Xbox Series S just because I have a PC now. So it's not really too useful. My brother is looking for a console, so I might be able to give it to him. Yeah, Battlefield. Battlefield 2042 has been quite the fiasco. It's actually unbelievable what's happening with that game. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the play. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I think I'll be able to kill it. It might take a while, but should be able to kill them. No, no problem. They're pretty, uh, pretty easy to kill these bosses. Just all depends on on how much damage all of the, these little ads do. Oh, no. He's killing his own feckin' summons. Big spanner. I 
I don't know what that move. Oh, yeah. Just need to find them again. These are a pretty cool boss idea. Okay, kind of hoping he does the big splash here and deals a lot of damage to them. Because if you're not careful, them spears can, can catch you. Oh, jeez, I almost died. As I said, if you're not careful, them spears can really catch you off guard. And you want to get out. Ah, no butter foe. It was nice chatting to you. Sure, I'll see you at some point in another stream. Enjoy whatever food you're eating. Yeah, you can't hit me. I would have given you a better <laughs> send off, but or would have said a better goodbye. But uh, yeah, I'm in concentration mode here. Hey. Keep smacking them. <laughs> well, can't roll a boat around me. There we go. Goodbye. This lad's trying to row a boat. Nah. No, no boat. Row, no row boat around me. Oh, yes. I'll take that. Okay, now I believe... Apologies if you can hear bargain in the background. My dogs are seemingly having a fight downstairs. Well, play. But Poppy is a... Uh, Poppy is loud. Poppy just barks when she plays. Okay. Any items about... Hmm. No, I don't think there's any items of note around. We'll go up there. I think that might be another church up here. Or is that the church I was just in? No, it's not. Alex. Any more shite like that and I think I might have to kick you. Ban you. Bring the ban hammer down... Thought I jumped into the sea there. That would have been quite funny. Yeah, Alex, I need to ban you. And then just can jump off the mountain. Okay, we're going into Khaled now. Or Khaled, Salad, Sealed. <sighs> These goats are fucking hilarious. Look. Roll. Yeah, look, they just roll away. Who just decided, oh yeah, we'll put some goats in. All right, and you know what? They'll roll away when you, when you come near them. That's the reason why I'll never be a game maker. Ah, hello, Sam. I knew, I knew the way you said lad as well. You are definitely, uh, you are definitely Irish. But hello, I was actually who was I talking to? I think I was talking to. Oh, I think this is a summon here, isn't it? Oh no, there's a lad hiding here if I remember correctly. Okay. I don't have anything I can cheese these fights with. Feck. Oh, get out! Oh, Lord, that's a one shot. Jeez, Anastasia, Jesus. Okay, that's a big long. Don't worry, Sam. You didn't. You didn't. Whoo! Yes, get up. I 
I, I forget, Sam. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the middle of concentration mode. Someone was telling me that you bought Elden Ring recently. Yes. Okay. And then charge it up. Oh, roll. Oh, I got too greedy. <laughs> oh, it was going so well. It was going too well. The college course was good, Sam. Sam, we had a budding relationship there and then you just opened and left us. Where did I die? Yeah, that's the first death. That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good going. I just got too greedy. That's the problem. The amount of times you die at a boss because you're like, oh, I'll be able to get that last... Like, they, they have this much health. You're like, oh, I'll be able to get that last swing in before they can attack him. Jeez. Oh, 7 up 3 is not good for the, for the burps. But, and you're like, oh yeah, I'll kill him, I'll get him, I'll get him. And then you don't get him. Do you know what? It actually probably is worth my while killing these for the souls. Or the runes, sorry. It's like, it was so annoying, like, doing the review. It's like, all the sights of grace. Like, just let me call it a bonfire. It's like, we all know what a bonfire is. Okay, we're going back up here. Collecting my souls and I'm killing her. I wonder actually, could I summon the skeletal... The skeletal? Skeletal? Skeletal militiamen? Because they would be quite useful. The music in this area is so creepy. Okay, yeah, they're going to trick me. Thinking I can get to this side of grace, but I can't. What I can do... Pick this up and get ready. Come here to me! Ah, here, how did she poise through that? She said you wearing a dress. <gasps> I did not mean to press L2. No, I assume she drops that weapon. And that weapon looks good. Whoa! Up, get up. I wonder, can I just like... Whoa, get out! I was just thinking, could I stun? Can I stun lock her with this L2 or 2? That's it. That's a show. I have to time it pretty well. Okay, let's see. Do I really want to try this? Yeah, I do. Yes. Okay. Probably a dodgy strategy, so I won't do it. Come on out, Anastasia. Roll. Roll. Yeah. Now she's going to do that a few times. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Yes. Okay, and then one swing should do it. Oh. One swing. No. God, the AI actually isn't too too shabby in them sort of fights. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Whee. Yeah, fuck you, Anastasia. Scarred scorpion charm. Raises holy attack, but lowers damage to negation. Ooh. I don't really do holy. I don't really have holy attacks right now. See if it was make me feel great once I got the hang of the games. Pretty much said, nah, you ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah, I only streamed like the first two hours of Sifu and then put it down. I I do like it. I did or I did like what I played of it. I probably I will go back to it. Put it on. I got a code like this is gonna sound really. This is gonna sound really fucking you know first world problems. But I got a code on PC. I want to play it on my PlayStation. I want trophies. 
It seems Torrent had where as I may. There is but one I can take Adarin's place. Very well. Let my hand. Will do. Yo, a trophy. Oh, welcome to the round table hold. I teach incantations and explore the circuit longer, ensuring. Okay, what incantations do you sell, man? Most time in you are so. Hey, let's see. Urgent heal, heal, cure poison. Oh, they're pretty cool. Flame sling, catch flame momentarily, sparks flame from the hands. Why? Why would that be any use? I wonder. Hmm. I think I'll buy both of them, won't I? Rejection. I don't really think I don't need the heal right now. That that heal doesn't really do much. Uh I don't know, Max. I've never platinum the Souls game. I've never even platinum Dark Souls 2, even though I've beaten that about 900 million times. I haven't really been into platinuming stuff recently. I got I got like kind of on a big long, like at one point I was like, yeah, I'm gonna platinum every game I play, and then I saw what it did to my mate David, who... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I started platinum in loads of games, and then I got like 18 platinums in a very short amount of time, and then I just fell off. I was like, that's ah, not worth it. Because like, I have a mate that literally will look at the trophy list for a game, and if the trophies don't suit what he wants, or like they're too hard for the kind of game that he wants to play it, he won't buy it. So I don't want that to happen. Yeah, he's a madman for a platinum. Now, I wonder, is the sorcery man here? No, he's not. Disappointing. I don't know where you find him. <laughs> Good. Yeah, his, uh, his, his love for platinum trophies baffles me. Yeah, Alex, I was. There's a, a PlayStation called the Trophy... A PlayStation podcast called the Trophy Room. And they just put out saying that they wanted people to... Uh, people to come on their podcast to talk about uh gt7 and i just so happened to play gt7 so i went on it was really fun i was only like so they record the episodes and then they stitch the review in at the end so i was on it for like 25 30 minutes but it was really fun i forgot how fun uh podcasts are i did it was just like 25 minutes of me talking about gt7 just gushing about how good the game is because I do love the game. Like I was only I was only playing it earlier for ages. Greeting. I am Fia Circumstance. Great champ. Perhaps in doing so will and you do you think it's progress? Pretty cool in uh, GT7. When you when you log on when you log on to the the online, it asks you what area you're in. But it asks you what region you're in and then the area within that region. And when I went on it gave me the four provinces of ireland and uh they were all in irish which is really cool and then i had to look for the area where i live in dublin and it was all in irish really cool this part is really awkward i don't really understand what you're doing Yeah, I am a Sony pony. I'll be the first to admit I love Sony games. Or most of them. I don't like Horizon. Like, I think, obviously... Okay. Let's go. No, I, I wouldn't actually do that. I'm nowhere near... The right level. I think even on my character that I, that I reviewed the game on, I don't think I could do it bare, bare footed. 
Confessor coat. I like this armor too much. I do actually really like that, uh, the soldier's armor. The Godric soldiers, is that what it's called? Or that. That armor's really cool. I used that for a while, but... I mean, I am, like, I'm a big, I'm a big Sony man, but, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I gave, what you call it, Forbidden West a like, like, I don't, Forbidden West is, yeah, Horizon isn't great, really not great. Okay, hmm, what are we gonna do? I think Mind, I think, bit into Mind, one more in here, there. See, so yeah, I might be spreading myself a bit too thin. Ashes of War. I think the Sacred Blade might be good. Oh, that changes the scaling. Ooh, that changes the scaling. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, that's good. That was really good to get that straight away. Uh, what was I doing? I was learning spells. Oh, I can't learn... No, memory spells. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what these spells do. Okay, where I was... Thanks, Alex. Appreciate you dropping by. Uh, where are we going to go? Forget what I was doing, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I was up here. Going to the smoldering church. Yeah, that's exactly why I felt about it, Sam. It's really just... It's just bland. Like, it, it's plain and simple. Just a bland game. It's like, it's okay. But then Breath of the Wild came out and just showed you, like, yeah, this is how you do an open world game. And then Forbidden West came out. Like, Donkey said this in his in his video, if anybody watches Donkey. And and then uh, Elden Ring came out and was like, yeah, this is how you do an open world game. Okay, I do not deal enough damage to fight these. However, that holy damage does seem to be doing bits. So. Kill him. Okay, now my guide is gone. Alex was, was leading me towards this spot. I think once once I get these few little bits, I think we might we might go challenge Margaret. Now, I'm not expecting anything from it, but we'll see. Them birds are so creepy. This part of the map is just really the atmosphere is amazing. But yeah, we go over here. No, we can't drop down there. I will surely die. I beat Horizon, both of them, but uh. I wasn't too happy. Well, they're just fine. Like that. That's that's all it is. Nothing spectacular. The world building's amazing. The world is great. I give them that. But everything else about it's just kind of a bit average. Okay. Now, if you see a fire in this area, do not approach it because there's usually fucking enemies that skeleton yokes that will literally just pop up and blow you up. I did not use the telescope, a telescope once in this game. I didn't even realize they were really in it, to be honest. And I listened, after my review went up, I listened to loads of reviews of the game. And the amount of, like, conversations people were having, was like, what? I didn't even know you could do that. Or, whoa, you discovered this? I didn't know that. And that's the coolest part about the game. Uh, Sam, have you played any other uh, Souls games before? I do remember us vaguely talking about them in college. Because obviously David and Paul would have talked about them a lot. Oh, no, Mar Mar 
Mer Margot, Margot, Margot. Uh, he absolutely destroyed me. Now, I think... Possibly. I think there's times in the game where I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm on their level. And I kind of didn't realize it because... Because it's not like in a, like Souls games, you don't do that. Like in Souls games, when you're at the place, you're usually roughly the, the right level for it. But here, no. So sometimes it's just best just to leave and just go explore and level up a bit. Oh, poor lad is hungry. Yeah, well, you don't sell anything good, so. Goodbye. Yeah, a lot of people say Bloodborne was the one that got them into it. Uh, the thing that got me into the Souls games was... Uh, uh, I used to... Well, I still do love Total Biscuit. Probably my biggest inspiration for doing any of this stuff, but rest in peace. But anyway, he he was kind of like the point, like one of the kind of people championing Dark Souls coming to PC. And eventually it came to PC and the port was so bad that he actually released an apology video saying that he was sorry that he kind of made it happen and that loads of people went out and wasted their money on it and i was one of them people but uh eventually it got fixed and yeah street of sage okay i'm at the runes here no i i, I don't i don't i'm i i don't think i could fight a boss I have 1700 runes that I do not want to get into the habit of losing right now. So I think I'll just skedoodle back. And I'll go back to the part that I'm kind of supposed to be on. And then the same thing happened. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. Goodbye. Get out of my way. Why isn't it let me roll? But, uh... Oh, a meteorite staff. Oh, that's probably what I was looking for. Then. God, it looks pretty cool with the sword on my back. But, uh... I forget what I was saying there now. I completely forget. <laughs> can I level up? Oh, wait, I need a... I can... No, I don't use it. I don't think I have a golden seed, but it's always worth to go. Okay. Oh, a good bit. I reckon, actually. Do you know what? I've quite a few runes. Now that I think about it, it's probably a bad idea because I don't really know exactly what I'm building towards, but I'll just hopefully smartly allocate these points. Okay, I think a bit more of that. No, I think, yeah, we'll go with that. And I think I'll get my strength up to... Up a bit more as well after that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fast travel back. We'll actually go back to the to here. I'm kind of explore around here. I didn't really... Actually, I also want to go there. Waypoint rooms, that's where people are telling me to go, so... Uh, I got a hardest boss in the Soulsborne series, and uh, yes, I do, and it's a boss in this game that I will not discuss because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I think this game. Now, I think potentially, I, I, I think I'll revisit that statement in when I rebeat the game because I was playing under like like we I got the game six days before it came out and put forty two hours into it, and then there's other reviewers saying they put like sixty hours into it, and I was like I don't know how they did that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I think I'll revisit that statement because it might have just been the time pressure and everything. But yeah, there's a boss in this game that's quite difficult. But before that, Pont of Sullivan and Dark Souls 3. I have nightmares about him. What about you, Sam? 
You have a hardest boss. See, I think like from from my experience, I think if I was to put like which game has the hardest bosses in gen like kind of across the whole experience, like average hard, average difficulty, I would say it's a uh, Bloodborne. But again, that could just be that I've only ever played that game in 30 FPS. Them spear feckers are so annoying. Okay, what's my... what? What's this sacred blade? Let me test it out. Oh, that's kind of cool, but... Uh, oh, there's that! Oh, it buffs my weapon! <gasps> what a time to be alive! Oh, that's brilliant. Is the orphan a cost? That's... That's a DLC boss, isn't it? Oh, I unequipped my... That has an S scaling. Wow. So you get an S scaling intellect staff straight from the start. See some pretty overpowered builds with that now. If I remember correctly, this boss in here is really easy. How do I how do I actually get into it? I think it's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I've never played the Bloodborne DLC. Okay, so what does this do? Okay, that's kick. Okay, that's kind of useless. Flame sling. That's probably a big fireball. Okay. I have a feeling that that's going to come in quite handy with this. Oh, no, this is this boss. Oh, and I don't deal any damage to him whatsoever. Okay, that's good. Okay, that deals decent damage at least. Oh god, that deals good damage. Oh, roll. Oh, I got greedy. Oh, I deal good damage, okay. Just gonna do one more slam. Oh. I will use that. Should be able to get that in. Ah, that was easy. Yeah, I remember saying that on like a Watch Mojo video. Hey guys, welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down the hardest bosses in Dark Souls. Yeah, and there's an NPC back here. Yeah, okay, I remember. I want to learn sorcery. Well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, but one must choose. I was exiled from the academy as a revival. Do you still wish? <laughs> Very well. You are now. But I refuse to pause. Anticipate grievances. Study sorcery. Oh, so sorry. Ah, shit! I should have saved my souls for this stuff. Oh, I wonder. Here, oh, this is a this is a shout. What happens if I do this as a build? I need 18 intellect for that. So if I do 18, if I get up to 18 intellect, and then I have the sorceries in one hand, and then this here, now I'll need to get some memory slots, and then I could really start to, uh, start to do bits. I think that's potentially what I'm going to do. No, don't set her on fire, thank you. <laughs> no, don't attack a rider, Jesus Christ. I can't buy anything yet, so I think I'll just level up first. That's probably the best thing to do. Get up to 18 intellect. 18 intellect, 18... Uh, 18 intellect, and then 18... Fate, or intelligence, whatever you want to call it. Let's 
So yeah, I think the 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 demon or the the bloodborne bosses are just disgusting looking. There's just something really like disgusting about that game. And I think that's kind of what put me off it mostly was the aesthetic. It's like it's it's cool, but I think it gets too much at certain points. Ah, do you know what? I'll take the poison. I don't really care to be honest. I'll be able to heal through it. Set them. Just keep setting them on fire. Yeah, I so uh, February was a packed month. Uh, I'm quite lucky to say I reviewed. So I reviewed Uncharted at the end of January, the Legacy of Thieves collection. Then I went on to Dying Light 2. I loved that. And then I went on to Horizon Forbidden West, which I thought was just okay. And then I, after that, I got Elden Ring and then I got GT7. So I've been quite busy. But Dying Light was so fun. I haven't played it. I haven't played it in co-op yet, though. So I'm I'm gonna wait. I, I played uh, I played the original Dying Light with my cousin, and it was really fun. Like well, definitely like probably the best co-op experience that I had on on play on PlayStation Four without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, we'll go back to the church. Oh, yes, that's the sorceress person. A pleasure, Sire and the Witch. I don't tell of and upon look and talk, I thou art for the call forth. Ah, I was in strike torrents for. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's going to be very useful for my current build. I do like the militia. I do like the militia men, but I think the wolves. I went with the wolves a lot on my first playthrough. So I think I'll stick with them. I can't really level up. Can I upgrade my... It's not really worth my while upgrading my weapons now, I don't think. So we go off to this cave over here, because there's a... I think this is the easy enough boss, if I remember correct. Oh, did you play 2, Sam? I think 2 was... 2 was just better than 1 in every way. Like, I think the... I heard... Uh, uh, now, I enjoyed the story. I know a lot of people didn't, but I think it was uh, it was pretty good. Especially when it came to the choices. I think there was definitely a few times where I was like, oh, they, like I could feel that that choice made a difference. Now, it's still just like, you know, one outcome or the other, but like still. Like it was still, it was still a good time. And then the parkour is just so fun as it like, if you're going for pure fun, like that is the game. Like, I think that game has more fun in it in, like, 30 minutes than Horizon has in, like, 5 hours. I believe this is the cave with all the wolves in it. Do you know what? I think I might reallocate my flasks here. Go 3 and 2. Ah, well, I don't, I don't want to spoil, I'm not sure if you've watched much on the, on the game, so I don't want to spoil much, but I think that means you haven't unlocked the kind of traversal things that make the game, like, what it is. Get up. I don't really want to take on them yet. I believe, yeah, the boss is down here, isn't he? Did I activate that statue? Because my wolves... Oh, it's only this lad. I say only this lad. I'm definitely going to die now that I said that. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I kind of deal a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, wolves, take the aggro. 
Yeah, if you get good, you can kind of learn to kind of cheese the AI a bit where... Well, it was the same in every Dark Souls with, with the way... With the way the... The... Aggro works. Flame Drake Talisman, that's very useful. I believe you get... I don't know, I thought this was the one that gave you the sewing needle, but... Must be wrong. Turn to the entrance. Welcome back, Alex. I just beat a few bosses. My build is slowly coming together. I'll show you now. So, I have this sacred blade. Yeah, look. Uh, look at this sacred blade that I, one of the Ashes of War I put on my weapon. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, <laughs> right. This is really good because I'm, I'm... So, I'm doing... I'm going to do like... I don't know if I'd be stretching myself too thin. But look. Oh, did I almost get killed by him? But I don't know if I'd be stretching myself too thin, Alex. But I have Flame Sling, and then I have that, which imbues my weapon with this. And now my weapon my weapon now scales with uh, Fate. I don't really like the attack, the, uh, the move set on this weapon. I prefer, like, a Claymore. I think it's the Claymore that has the wide slashes rather than the up-down slashes. But, yeah, and then I also... Yeah, uh, I also got this. Which, I'm assuming this was the thing that you were telling me to get. And the meteorite... Yeah, that was. It wasn't the meteorite staff. So, and I also unlocked the the sorceress. So, I kind of just need to... I want to get to 18 uh, intellect or intelligence. So then I can... I'm thinking I might potentially dual wield everything. So I'll have a staff in right hand. And then the, the incantation thing in my left hand. I think that might be a pretty fun build. Six people. Whoa, hello. If anybody, if you're enjoying the, the stream, everybody who hasn't liked it, I'd really appreciate a like. Apparently it does something. Don't ask me what, but it does. Apparently. Okay, I don't have enough for a level up, and I don't really want to go to that cave, to be honest. Hmm. I'm trying to think what to do now. God, it's so warm. I know I'm sitting here in a hoodie, but I like my hoodies too much. The giants are slightly harder when they're not chained to a big cart. But I would like... The thousand souls, please. I'll just take my time here and should be able to kill him. Just focus on one leg. Wait, how do you quickly get off? What's the button to quickly get off your horse? This is, again, something I only realized way too late in, into my playthrough. Oh. Yes. Oh, shit, here comes his sword. I'll read your message now. I, I was halfway through reading your message there, Alex, and then... Oh my god. Get up! Alright, there's another cool build called a Spellblade build. Basically, there's a sorcery that you can cast your melee weapon that'd be cool. Pretty yeah. I know, I know the one you're talking about. I think one of the NPCs that you fight later on has it. Berserk. Yeah, I heard, I've never read, is Berserk a manga or an anime? But I've never been into manga or anime. But I heard buying all the Berserk stuff is pretty expensive. So I think it is a manga. Or a manga. Okay. Get up! Trying to hit these feckers is pretty t difficult. Okay, do you know what? You're better off hopping off your horse, aren't you? Ah, okay, I'll stand exactly right here and just wait. Scratch my nose. I'm gonna keep going until I get hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. I ate something small before I started the stream. 
I'd like to go more. I usually stream for two hours, but I'd like to stream. Get up! Oh. <laughs> I'd like to stream for a bit longer because I'm really enjoying this. Well, most of the time, I, I'm always enjoying my streams, and it, it is only the hunger that stops me from streaming longer. I don't know why, but it just makes me hungry. Okay. Swing now. Yes. Oh. Lol. Oh. The weird uh big silver mask. That's pretty cool. Maybe I might give it a look. The only anime... Well, like, I've watched Pokemon. But the only other anime I ever tried to watch was The World Saves With You. Or The World the world Ends With You. But... Uh, oh, my God. I just got destroyed. Okay. Chose the wrong person to mess with, pal. Jeez, he doesn't stop, does he? But, uh, yeah, the only one I've ever tried to watch was The World Ends With You. And I enjoyed what I watched of it, but the only problem was was the exact same story as the game, which I had just beaten. That's really cool. I have heard people talk about, uh... Talk about, uh, Berserk before. In, like, on pod When I was watching a few podcasts on... Uh, soul stuff. Oh, this is that event that feckin' spews out money or something, isn't it? I think this is really rare. I don't really know what you do with it. Why are their eyes red? Oh, I think... I think... Fatty Vidya's video said if their eyes glow red, they give you more runes, potentially. Yeah, I'll just... I think I'll go over here first. I think there's an item down here. Anything useful? For anyone who's just started this game, make sure that you mark everything on the map. Quest giver, uh, NPC, whatever, because there's so many times where I was like, oh yeah, I'd like to go back to that NPC to buy whatever item. And I forget where it was. Gotta go over to that island and this is how you get to it. You drink some water, my truth. Just getting a bit dry. Yeah, some more there. Down here we go. This place is really dark. How many endings are there? I do not know. I have no clue. I know, so how the game... Like, I want to say this in as vague terms as possible. So how the game kind of finishes... Now, now the, I, I never finish this game. I am currently on the second last boss, and I had to make the review. Uh, so I never finished the game, and I still haven't because I then got GT7, so I couldn't. 
I was on the second last boss and I just ran out of time basically but how it's so you know it's set up that there's like four basic there's four bosses that you have to fight to kind of you know finish the game but anyway Godric is one of them I killed four of the main bosses and then once you kill four of the main bosses you then have it then alludes that there's more that are optional and potentially they might change the ending but i'm not sure if you killed them before i i don't know so maybe they might change but i i i can't i can't be an authority on it unfortunately i really should considering i reviewed the game but all right max thank you for dropping by it was a nice nice hearing from you I hate this place and I don't have a torch. Do you know, I won't I won't go in here mainly because it'll literally just be used looking at a blank screen. I will. I'll be streaming for like at, well at least another half an hour I'd say. At least. See when my when my tummy when my tummy <laughs> when my tummy starts rumbling, as Winnie the Pooh would say. I think we'll go to Stormvale, maybe. Yeah, fuck you, mate. Oh, a golden... Yeah, there's... I, I'd assume I'd assume there's there's more endings. I think most most I actually now that I think about it, I think every single Souls game has multiple endings. Depending on certain items you pick up or use or you know. I know for a fact Dark Souls 2 did. Could either become the the new lord of blah 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 some random shit, but Yes. Okay, now what do I want to do here? I think what I'll do... If I... Fast travel back to here, I'll be able to buy a few spells so I don't end up wasting my souls because I'm going to go fight Margaret here and in more than likely I'm going to die. None of them are really useful right now. Eh... Uh, Where is the sorceress person? I forget where they stay. Then you would stand a bit if those were to follow the guidance of Dusso and you. If one stood as a true eye of heart, I hope I'm sick of these Nambi weeps. Where does the sorceress person disappear? Hmm. Uh, as in the the these summons, Alex. The the spirits or the summoning people like to help you with boss fights. No, I forgot. Ah, uh, I didn't mean I shouldn't have used that. Ah, uh, I don't know why I thought you could you could only do 
you could just change the ashes of war around onto different weapons. Or maybe you can. Uh, you'll always get that in the Dark Souls community. People, people like that are Air Souls. It's like, they're in the game. Use them. Yeah, they can make some boss fights easy. You know, if, if you really don't want to use them, then don't use them. Don't give out to other people for using them like it's it's an item in the game for a reason. Has anyone seen the... Uh, this just popped into my head. Has anyone seen the Uncharted film? And if so, what do you think of it? Uh, I actually made two videos on Cyberpunk when it came out, Sam. And they actually... They got a couple of thousand views. I, I, I really... Like, I hit... I hit the algorithm with it. It got, like, a thousand views overnight or something. I was chuffed. But, uh... On the PlayStation 5... If you had a PlayStation 5 and played the base version of Cyberpunk... Yes, it was broken. The police spawned in randomly and there was bugs. But I played, like, 15 hours of that game. And it was fine. It wasn't great. It felt like a Fallout game. But that was it. Uh, yeah, it was fine on the PlayStation 5, I thought. I, there was a few bugs on the PlayStation 4, obviously, completely unplayable. Like, that's ridiculous. And the fact that they deliberately hit it as well by only giving out PC codes and whatnot, that is very shady. But uh, I will, I do want to go back to it. I will buy it eventually. I might actually buy it. Now I think about it, maybe. Just go back and play it. See what it's like. Okay, so I don't know where that sorceress person is. And he plays an okay Tom Holland. I'm I'm not one I'm not a person to talk about movies and actors. I not not my scene, like I won't pretend to I won't pretend like I know anything about it really. I think it's entertaining. There was a few parts of the film that felt like Uncharted and there was other parts that didn't really feel like Uncharted. Okay, if I if I remember, this man will drop more souls now. Oh, he's gonna catch me! No. Yeah, come on, hit me, hit me. Yeah, I actually I I put in for a refund for Cyberpunk. Not because it was broken, just because I didn't really... I, I wasn't too big on it. Because it kind of... Pro like, I guess it was part of, like, you know, it promised, like, a living, breathing world, but it... I don't know. Didn't feel like that. Who was this? Hmm. Not sure if I remember talking to this NPC. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Let me ask you something. Are you here in... Does your fate despite the... Co Honest, such thoughts won't behoove you. But there's nothing. In bearing the torch, all I know is the sword. Now's the time to. Oh yeah, I did. I did talk to this lad. No skill, parry, storm blade, quick step, impaling trust. None of them are much use. Okay. I think I almost have a level, so it's probably best off me just... Do I have any runes I can use? I have six of these. Yeah, that'll bring, that should bring me up to a level. And then I'll be safe to... Oh, no, I'm way above a level. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, this build is going to be weird. I think I'm going to be pretty, like, shit in the early game. But once I start to get things together, this potentially could be a very, very good build. Hello, wolves. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly how I felt, Sam. It was like, it was good. But it just felt like Fallout set in a cyberpunk world. And the world itself wasn't 
this big living breathing thing that I promised. I did like making my pain is absolutely massive though. That's that was obviously the best part of the game. There's something making a lot of noise here. Oh, I was just one of them. I'd imagine I'll probably be able to go into GameStop and buy Cyberpunk for like 25 or 30 euro. So, I think I might might have to do that at some point. Yeah, Alex, I should have just stuck with my original plan. My original plan was a strength and fate build because them two usually go pretty pretty well together in previous games. Like, you, you know, you'd use a mace and then you'd eventually find like a holy mace or so, of some description. Kind of basically be a paladin. But I kind of messed it up here. I got a bit too greedy. I think like once I get to 18 intellect, I'll be sorted. I'll be really powerful. But... Right now I'm not at that and I don't know how long it'll be before I can get to it to be honest. Hello bats. I'd be able to I'll be able to do a, a GT7 stream as well soon with the wheel. If anyone's interested in that, I'm not sure really how much how much interest there will be in a, a stream of a racing game on my channel but if anyone is interested, I would I would like to do that because I, I do love the game. Yeah, my brother Sam absolutely loves Disco Elysium. He was trying to get me to play it, but I just I just didn't. I I was waiting for the Switch version. I was like, oh yeah, once it comes out on the Switch, I'll play it. And then it came out on the Switch, and I just haven't bought it. I I really need to be in like you need to be in a certain headspace for a game like that because it's all just text. Like, I think my favorite part about Dark Souls is that you have the option to have, like, a really, a really cool, uh, what you call it? Like, a really cool story if you're willing to put the time in and, and like, learn it and that. But if you just want to go and experience a really fun world with, like, great uh, gameplay and you don't have to worry about any, like, you know, listening to anything or, like, you could just kind of... Just get lost in the gameplay rather than having to listen to a lot of dialogue then i think i think that's one of the main reasons why i love these games is there a cave back here i think there is i didn't really use the crafting too much it did come in handy a few times when there was like parts where it was like oh a few fire bombs would be good here so i'll make them and that was good that, like, you didn't have to then go farm them or, like, you know, find an NPC that sold them or anything. That red thing in the back behind me there just made me shit myself. I thought it was, I thought it was invaded and didn't realise, but... Oh, Lord, I'm almost dead. I was not paying attention. Oh, jeez, that wolf was well hidden. Yep. Yeah, it's just like a nice little addition. Like, it, it didn't have to be there, but... I'm sure there's gonna be people who do builds, like a crafting build somehow. I'm just waiting for that. I was actually... What I was thinking about doing a stupid video where I played Elden Ring... Oh, this is the short... Yeah, okay. Uh, this is the shortcut around Stormvale. But I remember in with Elden Ring, or I'd I'd love to do a video where I played Elden Ring with the steering wheel. I think that'd be quite funny. Don't know how I'd set it up, but I was also gonna do like a video where I played. Look, I have Hot Wheels Unleashed. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Hot Wheels Unleashed. I have that. I haven't really played it much yet because I got GT7. But I'd love. I tried to play with my steering wheel, but it didn't work. And then I'd like to do, like, say, a video where I played that and Crash Team Racing and Team Sonic Racing and stuff. But I don't think they'll work with the wheel. It's a bit, a bit disappointing. I have a, you know, don't I? I need two seeds now. Do I have another one in them? No.
Is that a map there? No, it's not. Ah, yes, lovely. Study sorcery, glintstone, pebble, starlight. I think that that's cheaper, isn't it? They're both very good. Uh, I can buy both of them. No, I can't. No, I can. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll buy both of them. This is a bit of a weird build I'm going for, but... A load of skeleton spawn here. Did I activate that? I did. No, I didn't. No, I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, is there a... No, there's not. Okay. Like, you can literally just sit here and just play this, like, all day. I was just... I, like, I wanted to play this game earlier, but I was like, no, I'll save it for the stream. And I was just, like, itching. Just itching all day to play it. Now what you can spawn. I don't want to fight you. Oh, God. He was... He was not listening to me. How the fuck do you get out there? Have I been out there before? Hmm. I don't think I have. Thank you, Alex. Waypoint ruins here. The waypoint room person might have moved on. I'm not sure. Oh, no, they're still there. There you are, Obi Commander Celeste. Ah, if that is very well, I'll be sure to never lose. Is that the one? No, that's... Okay, so I have all my sword. I just I just need to start leveling up. That's it. I think I might have fucked this build, but... Anyway. Just keep going. Do I really want to try? I'll give Margaret a go. I don't think it's going to go very well, but... Unless he's really weak to fire, maybe. If he's really weak to fire, then it, it could turn out pretty good. I'll just summon the wolves to, to hopefully take a good bit of the aggro. Just dodge around here. Do not want to get hit by that ballista. Run! To the bonfire! Quick! Sit down! Ah, oh, he stopped. Okay. I thought it was the... I, I, I was the opposite way around with Godric and Margaret. I thought Margaret was... I thought uh, Margaret was harder. Yeah, thanks for that, Sam. I'll do that every single NPC I see. I just can't... I, I've always wanted to do a playthrough like that. Okay, the problem is here is that you have this cutscene. So you're actually almost probably... Oh, yes. Let's summon the... What's his name? Rogier. Now we're going to summon the wolves as well. And then we're going to absolutely rip them apart. First time. No damage. Let's go. You ready, Rogier? Rogier. He gives you really good items. The voice actor for this lad is class. Oh god, that frame rate was bad. Okay. Let the wolves hopefully take the aggro. What about this? Start slinging some flames at him. Okay, it deals decent damage to him. I just kind of need to get good at, like, learning... 
are kind of taking the aggro when when these yeah and then he launches himself forward doesn't he see this is the problem when you get when he gets into one of these swings and he'll start to get everyone with one with the one hit because I have a feeling the fact that he like launches them holy kind of things that he's probably going to be quite strong against holy attacks. See, and this has quite a big wind up, so. Hold R1 with the flame sling. Oh, I see. All right, okay, that's cool. Thank you, Alex. You see, this is when this is going to start to get really hard. Like, why? Why isn't that two-handed? Yeah, okay. Get out! Ah, feck. He's gonna launch at me now, yeah. Oh, that's ropey. That is ropey. He just does so many different, like, swings at you. Back off, yeah, that's me gone. Oh no, it's not. I managed to heal. Yeah, feck off. This is the end. Unless I can start to. Yeah, alright. Oh! Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, no. I don't, I'm not powerful enough to fight him yet. I'm not dealing enough damage by myself. Oh. But I want them souls. I need them souls. My build. I think I've fecked this build up big time. Big time I think I've fecked this build up. Hmm. I'm trying to think where I can go. I can go up here and I'll... I'll I'll unlock this part of the map up here. <sighs> Come back to that later. I don't need them souls. Feck off, you can have them. I don't like this weapon. I don't like the... The, the thing on this weapon. Should I say the... The move set. Like, what do you... Like... Hmm. That's exactly how I felt when I fought uh, Margit for the first time. And it's like, I didn't realize that I wasn't, like... It's like, I just need... I just need to start leveling up a bit more. And I probably am the right level to fight him now. It's just the fact that uh, I've kind of messed up my build a bit. It's probably going to be quite, quite hard until I can fix it all up. I thought there was a lad with a big spear in here. Okay. What's this item? Glintstone's Craftman's Cookbook. Oh, that actually sounds useful.
Was I getting hit by someone with magic there? Yeah, so what level am I? I'm 23. My build is absolutely fecked, though. <laughs> or so I'll say. Make myself feel good. Uh, we want to... Mark you. Purchase. Ah, nothing really. I know there's a lot of good items around here. Oh. Now. I think the best thing to do is literally just run around this swamp like a headless chicken. Because you find so many good items. You also find some very strange enemies as well. Oh lord. Okay, we're just running. Grab that. Thank you. Can I... Oh, I can use my... Okay. No, I can't. Okay, I can't use my... Oh, shit! I didn't realise. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, like, I've put so many points into... Oh, feck off. Jesus Christ. I've put so many points into intelligence already. Take this slow against these lads and I'll get them. Yeah, there we go. Like, I put... Like, I think my... My intelligence was at, like, nine. Like, I'm almost there. Probably just should have started with a different character. But... Should be able to just stun lock him. Oh, he was the he was the mage. Oh, mate, maybe they're all three of them are mages. God, the frame rate is so bad. Actually, uh, Sam, are you playing this on what what console are you playing this on? Oh no, the stream is frozen. certainly isn't the greatest best thing to do apparently is to uh, download the ps4 4 version and play that and then you'll get 60 fps which is a bit fucking ridiculous but do i want to fight him i don't think i do ah oh, fuck it i don't think i deal enough damage to be taking this this uh lad on but because he can just start to run rings around me. Unless I can keep stun locking him. Yeah, there we go. That worked. See, I think it's because I'm I'm single-handing this weapon technically on the horse. So I'm not... Oh, heal. So I'm not actually dealing that much damage. So maybe if I switch to my broadsword, that might be a better idea. Poppy is crying at my door. I must get to a safe place and let her in. <laughs> Am I safe over here?
Oh, we could use that spear. It's probably not a bad idea. Spears are pretty fun. I think I'd rather use a spear than a broadsword, to be honest. Okay, puppy. Yep. I absolutely love... Just have to take off my headphones. I absolutely love... Money and pops. Alright, you have to let Poppy in. Poppy is the ruler of the domain, aren't you, pops? So, I absolutely love the fact that there's no quest marker. Because open world games are very annoying with how much... Like, coming from... Bre or... Coming from Horizon. With the amount of markers and... Oh, it's just boring. Like, it's... It's not fun. Like, this game... Literally just... Like... Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's something. You either go to it or you don't. Like, that's it. Like, it's no, like, there's no map marker, like, overwhelming you or anything. It's just, it's just there, and you can do it if you want. Because I find myself getting overwhelmed by, by, uh, open world games a lot, just because there's just so much crap. To be honest, I don't know how any, any open world developer can decide after seeing what Breath of the Wild did not to do what Breath of the Wild did. Especially with like a big team like Gorilla. Lascar ruins. Oh no, uh you do not want to hang around here, I'll tell you that much. There's a reason why there's so many, uh... Just pick up that item and run. Oh, I didn't run, I hopped off my horse! That fecker there is a reason why you don't want to hang around. Yeah, well, what I do with, with, with uh, open world games like that, like Far Cry or something, I get into them... I sit down and I play them for ages. I play them for like 15 or 20 hours. Doing barely any... I'm gonna go here. Doing barely any side or main story. Do loads of side content. And then when I'm bored with the side content, I'm gonna say, okay, I'll do the main story. And then get bored of the main story like maybe two or three hours after that and put them down never finish them. Ah, yes, I remember. I remember where I am now. I know how to get in there. Can you two hand a spear? Oh, I'm an idiot, okay. Ah, oh, that's... Br okay, that's great. So I'm wondering, should I do the spear? Or the broadsword. I think I like the idea of doing the spear. It's pretty, uh, pretty fun, like interesting. What does this do? Oh, that's it. Oh my god! I didn't realize that sent out a big slash. I thought that was a, a close range thing. Okay, let's test this out now. I'm way too wonder. I should not be here. I don't think, but oh yes. Okay, this is actually this the spear fate build might might be pretty fun. Oh yes. Yeah, I need to drop the magic. That was that was a stupid idea. Tell you one thing, I do not want to fight that big fucking thing. Stab you and run, I think. Run!
But yeah, like, Sam, I, I don't think I, I... I can't remember the last open world game like that that I've beaten. Well, actually... Immortal Phoenix Rise, but that was a lot smaller than an Assassin's Creed or a Far Cry game. I wanted to actually go there, didn't I? Will I go there and... Yeah, I think I will. So I wonder, can I... Is there anywhere that I can, like, kind of schedule here? Because you know, I don't really want to run through there. I'm certainly not at the right level to, to go in here. Pretty sure if I go around here, there's an enemy. Yeah. What I can just do is just stick to the rooftops. Should be pretty safe. Pick up this item. Pick up the item. Pick up the item. Okay, don't. Whatever. Whatever it floats your boat, pal. Pick up the pick up the item. Yes, there we go. Even though they're just arrows, but. And there's a big crab in here. Yes. Forget if that item there is much use. Oh yes, one of these trees. Yeah, that's that's uh Every single Far Cry game is just kind of felt. I think Far Cry 6 feels the most different. I think it's... It, they definitely changed a few things. It's the one that I could play the most. Out of the most recent Far Cry's. I think the setting is good because... I don't know. I think Far Cry... Like, since Far Cry 3 was, like, the game. It's like, I think the setting of a tropical island is really important to it. And these weird feckin'... I don't know what these are. Like it's strangers. Roll towards you like. I think there's a pretty decent item around here. Just trying to think exactly where it is. I can picture where you get Ah, oh, there it is. I think there's a chest up there. Keep my distance here and just pick away at them. Yeah, I think I think that's why it makes it so impressive that From Software made their first open world game and they just like It's just it's just that good. Like I like I can't wait to see if they make an Elden Ring 2 or like like evolve another sort of game. Like make a different game in the open world and just see see what they can do with their second one because if this is their first one then I can't wait to see what they can actually what they can do. Because Ubisoft have been making open world games now for like 15 years. Well, probably longer really, but... Yeah, I'd say about 15 years maybe, and they still can't make a game even half as good as this or Breath of the Wild. Oh, get away. Oh, no. I don't think I'll fight these lads. I think I'll just run. I'm running out of uh, stuff. So I reckon if I just skadoodle up here, skadoodle. Ah, shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, goodbye. Give me that. Hop on the horse and ride off in the sunset. The fog is great. Looks really cool. So I think... I think I might... Uh, I think I'm enjoying this spear. See, I think if I just... See, it only has a descaling though. With that. I think that had a C scaling once I put that on that. So I wonder... I wonder what would happen if I put... That on the broadsword. Because the broadsword is always a decent... A decent weapon. It can... If you just upgrade it, it can literally usually carry you through... The majority of the game. Something sparkly going on over here. Oh, it's just poison. Now. I'm on the lookout. This looks quite ominous here. I'm on the lookout for another side of grace. See, I like the reach to give the spear gives you. So I think with pyros and magic and all that. Well, thank you for that, Sam. I really, I really appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around. It means a lot. I've streamed to uh, zero people before, and sometimes it has to be done. But it's really appreciated when people stick around for pretty much the whole stream. I'm, I'm going to change the Ash of War on my broadsword. So they're all descaling. I do like the spear though. It's pretty fun. Damage isn't the best. It has an E E. Does that does that turn that to an E as well? Yeah. So everything goes to E. Do you know what? I'm gonna do the spear. I rarely use a spear. So what I'm gonna do is, I I I'm, I'm almost there at a level. So I'm gonna fight. I'll, I'll fight Margaret one last time. Sam, if you can stick around well, I'm going to do it right away, but I'm going to take a sip of water. Talk to this dude. Does he have anything else I can learn? No, not right now. Just want to look around make sure... Oh, Roger might have... Roger? 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 No, he doesn't move in yet, I don't think. Okay. Well, if I took you for no matter with out your arm. Oh, she's crest, but she has it. I saw it out there, I. Oh. And then I think if I go back and talk to him now, or her, I think this kind of starts a quest line. If I upgrade, we'll... Jeez, that does a good bit. That does a good bit of extra damage there once you start upgrading that. I think we we'll go with it. No, do you know what? Feck it. Smithing stone. I need four. Jesus. Alright. Do I have enough of my runes to get another level? No, we don't. Do I? That potentially might take me up, will it? Let's see. Let's see. Yes, exactly enough. So we'll just pump more into faith here. I like a bit of bit of extra health would be nice, but we'll just do it and we'll give him one last go. Do the castle word tunnels. One last go and then I better go for my dinner because I am starving. Excuse me. Okay. So I think what I'm best off doing 
is saving not using my spear full stop and using my flame sling while these can still hold the aggro that'll be my that's gonna be my strat and anyway so we go here some of these hopefully you won't do oh i still haven't died since since the last boss fight okay okay and then we just kind of keep dodging until hopefully they take us aggro Okay, my spear does not deal with good damage, I'll tell you that much. How many souls did I lose? Oh, literally nothing. Okay. See, that's a problem with the... With the pyro stuff is... It doesn't have the same lock on that... Uh, oh, he's, he's aggroed on me. I need to take the aggro here. Ah, I won't be able to get in, will I? No. Go on, Roger, help me. Oh, it's like he changed his aggro mid, mid attack there. Oh shit. See it's getting the timing right. Where this flame thing is the is gonna be the difficult part. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught here. Yep, yeah, roll, roll! Oh you fecker. He can't catch me. Oh, shit. I thought... Oh, I completely... Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Roll! Heal, heal, heal. Oh, I'm dead again. Yeah. Now he's going to launch himself. Yeah. Roll. Getting the timing for that is so difficult. Ah! I think what I need to do, I need to pump more into my... Uh, my mana flask. I'll give him one last go. I think the mana flask is the way to go. And just get good so that I don't... I just don't get hit. Do I have sacred tears? Oh, I do. So I do three. Do we do four? Do we do four and two? No. Three and three. Says the one... I'm an Elden Ring pro, man. Hey. Okay, here we go. Use that. Hopefully he doesn't use his, his long range ability. Attack my pretties. See, the best thing to do, if you can hide behind here, you can't catch it with that long range ability at the start. When we start throw this, uh, the only thing is he can also dodge my... I need to use this. The worst thing is when they change aggro mid, uh, mid combo. Get in. Yes. Jeez, that did not deal any damage to him whatsoever. This spear is shy. <laughs> Such a hard, such a hard attack to get right. Okay, while they're still alive, I will heal. Get in, get in! Ah, I won't be able to get him, will I? No. That's the problem with using a range build, I guess. Ah, shit. Alright, goodbye. And he's gonna launch. Roll closer to the end. Sling. 
Okay, come on. We have this, we have this. So the only problem is, if I run out of magic, I'm fucked, because... My weapon just does not deal enough damage to him. Ah! He's gonna launch, he's gonna launch. And then you roll! Oh no! Oh, oh my god, I think I, I think I had him there. I think I had him. I'm going back. I have to. <laughs> I can't I can't stop it here. I have to beat him. Oh, that was so close. So close. Okay, I think this is the time now. I was even talking myself, Alex, out of not picking the spear because it's like, oh, that's not a weapon I usually use, but I'll give it a go. I should have just listened to myself, like I wasted my, my smithing stones on it. Oh, yeah. See that? I like, I hate, I hate the way, like, the way the aggro works. It's, it's kind of like... You have to play a little dance with, like, not doing too much damage, so then he won't change. Because, like, the, the amount of times that... Oh, yeah, that's me dead roll! Oh, perfect timing. Okay, my wolves are doing pretty well here. Ah, oh, there, there we go. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I can't. I can't finish without beat. I can't do it. I know I can do it. Like as in, I can beat him. I was just unlucky. Okay, we got this. Let's do this, Leroy Jenkins. Ron Wolves. Sick him. Like, the Wolves just deal such little damage that they're literally just there for aggro. That's all they're useful for. Okay. He has his aggro on me now, doesn't he? Yep. Scratch my forehead! Oh, that was bad timing. <laughs> okay, get in, get in. Are you better off doing a front or a backstab on him? Yeah, yeah, uh, Game Explain got managed to get a preview for Curry, the full game. Like, looks pretty good. I mean, to be honest, like, I enjoyed a bit of Ballad. Like, I, I got enjoyment out of Ballad Wonderworld. Like, I mean, it doesn't take much for me to enjoy a, a 3D platformer because I'm just a f an absolute junkie for them. Oh, he's turning on me. And he's launching towards me, yeah. Roll out at the end. Heal. 
think he's launching. Oh yes, Wolf. Thank you for taking that aggro. That's the one. That's that's the move that trips me up big time. Oh, that's dodgy. That's dodgy. That is dodgy. Why did I do that? Woo! Get out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Short one. Oh, get it right, get it right! Oh, you fucking arsehole, get out! Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Oh, this game is not healthy. This game is not healthy. Yeah. Oh, I ran out! Oh, shy. Oh, okay, here we go. We just need to take this slow. Okay, launch. Roll. He does another swing. Ah! I, I can't. I can't leave it. I can't. Okay, I will. Okay. I am starving, but this is the last go. That was so close. So, so close. Do I have... Come on, wolves, attack, attack! Why did his why did his aggro change to me there? I think you're better off doing a backstab there, are you? I don't know. I don't know if they actually change anything to be honest. Okay, what sort of damage am I dealing with this weapon? Not great damage, but better than what I was dealing. Zagor's on me. Zagor's on him. Zagor's still on him. Ah, like, that's two misses there. That's no bueno. Okay, that's, that's the end of him. Sorry, Roger. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, grand. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna see what this does. I haven't used it. Probably not the time to be testing it out, but... Okay, that's shy. Okay, he's gonna launch. Dodge out at the end. Another swing. Yeah, that swing always gets me. Yeah, no, that's the end. Oh, I was so close, but... I think if I just didn't put all their points into intelligence and just had a slight bit more health and maybe a bit more FP and all that, like, that's... I say it's the end, and then you just go straight back. One last go, one last go. I don't know, I think I almost... When I, when I was first fighting them on my first playthrough, it, it felt like I could have knocked them off, but... I don't know if you can knock them off. 
But it felt like I could, but he was never moving. No matter how hard I hit him. Oh. Used the wrong spell. be able to get him I don't think no feck off sorry goes on me now isn't it yeah Yes. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. That's the move that always gets me. He's dead, isn't he? Oh, Margaret, he went out of me aggro. Oh, that would have been like... That would have put him like literally... <gasps> yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, we'll use that. Ah... What am I doing? Roby taking a potion there, I'll tell you that much. Oh, he's solo, he's solo, come on. You got it. Oh, shit. Every single time with that combo. Okay, I think you just have to use it. Roll. Like, look at that damage. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Good boy. Ah, yeah. Nah. I just, I don't deal enough damage. There. I think I fucked the build big time. Certainly need more strength, but... Ah, I'm so close. But I have to go. I'm fucking starving. But I thank you, Alex, for sticking around. And everyone else that dropped by, it was really fun. Two hours and 28 minutes, not bad. The problem is, like, I can't respec for another while. It takes takes a while before you can respec. So I don't really know what I'm going to do, to be honest, with the character. But we shall see. But yeah, I loved, I loved the theme music. But thanks, Alex, for sticking around. Everyone else that watched it was a very fun stream. I will definitely be streaming on this character. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but in the coming weeks. Like, over the next week or so and whatever. So... Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was nice talking to you, Alex, and I'll see you on the next stream whenever that will be, or I'll talk to you in the Discord. So, wherever the camera is, there it is. Goodbye.